This is my first trip to Pakistan and one of the main things that jumped out at me as we were driving around is the trucks. Now I know that sounds a bit strange, but I'm going to show you. This is what I'm talking about. Literally every single truck that you see on the road in Pakistan is elaborately decorated. The trucks create a rolling canvas on Pakistan's roads and highways. Each region has its own design and an expert can immediately identify where the trucker is from. And each truck is unique. So we have all sorts of mechanics working here. Looks pretty normal. Same sort of thing you'd see anywhere in the world. Only here we have this. And it's here where the artwork is being put together. And it is an absolutely fascinating process. I find this amazing. I mean, just take a look. It's such an intricate design and yet every single element of it is made up of a tiny little piece of tape. What you're starting off with here is just your average roll of tape. And then the next stage is to, I guess, try to break it up into some sort of sub-design. Here you have the yellow being built onto the red. And then this is turning into what we have here. You just take a look at that. He does it in one smooth, fluid movement. This design is then going to turn into this. So based on the shape of each truck, you come up with a custom-made design for it. They're insisting it's easy, but I have to be honest, it looks like it's anything. But just take a look here at the accuracy with which he's placing the tape and then just how fast he's able to cut it and move right on to the next little part. This is where the trucks come to get spruced up. And get this, it only takes five or six days to decorate an entire truck. Oh, this one. So yeah. it's still getting painted and done. So yes, um, is this a new truck that you bought or is this your old truck and you're repainting it? Like yeah. how often do you have to redo it all over again? He says it depends on the wear and tear. We tried to figure out exactly how this tradition came to be, but no one we talked to was sure. We found out later that it started nearly a century ago when transport companies wanted to attract customers. And now it's turned into a cultural tradition. So check this out. Literally every single inch of the truck is decorated in some way or another, even inside. Look at that. It really feels like you're inside of a massive, beautiful, intricate mosaic. This does not feel like the inside of a truck. I'm really enjoying myself in this truck, don't want to get out, but anyways, so before I do, here's another little thing to tell you about. It costs around 55,000 rupees to decorate this. That's $660 for all of this work. It's not a huge amount of room in there. It's a bit like being inside a kaleidoscope. There's also poetry written on the trucks, and at times it's even romantic poetry. So here, for example, we're told, is written, when two hearts come together, joy is born. But it makes some people jealous, while others happy. Would you want to put it on? No, I'll mess it up. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Well, it's time for us to head back to the office now, but I hope you've enjoyed this as much as we did. Most certainly for us, it's been a welcome break from the violence and politics that normally consume our reporting.